Hi, this is Heidi from My Reading Life and today I'd like to just do a little chatty video, talk about a few things and also give you an update on what I'm currently reading because it's been a while since I've done that. But before we get into the books, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, I think on Christmas Eve I hit 500 subscribers um, and that was such a huge surprise to me. I started this channel back at the beginning of May and I thought maybe someday, like 500 was my goal for maybe someday and it's been like a half a year and I'm already at 500 subscribers and that is just to me truly amazing that there's that many people that think uh, what I have to say is vaguely interesting at least some of the time. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed and I hope that the content that I put out on this channel continues to be something of interest to you. Um, the second thing I want to tell you about is that uh, I may have mentioned in a few videos that there's been some ongoing home improvement projects going on in my house. You've heard some banging and thrashing a few times in my previous videos. And that's because my husband has been remaking my son's bedroom into a library for me. Um, and so since uh, over this week, which we have off from between Christmas and New Year's, we have off from work, we've been working on that room and gotten it mostly uh, arranged. And I'm in the process now of organizing and rearranging my books onto bookshelves. And so in the future, I do plan to film from that space um, and hopefully that will all work out and in a, in a few more videos I will be filming from that new area and I'm super excited to finally have a space um, where I can unpack books that I've had in boxes for years and years and years. Um, so that is really exciting for me personally. Another thing I wanted to mention is um, there's been a lot of talk on uh, booktube in recent weeks about Goodreads and how people use Goodreads and whether or not Goodreads impacts uh, reader fatigue and reader happiness or unhappiness and all that sort of thing. And I am not uh, really a user of Goodreads. I have an account and I I use it mostly to track um, different groups that I uh, am interested in that have uh, accounts or have thread set up in the discussion area of Goodreads, but I've never used it for tracking my reading. Um, but in 2018, I do think that I am going to set up a so-called Goodreads goal. I'm going to believe I'm going to set it for 100 books. I generally read somewhere uh, around 110 to 130 books, so I figured if I set it at 100, I won't be putting any added stress on myself but I'll be able to sort of track how, how my reading goes and I'm interested in using some of the um, statistical tools and infographics that Goodreads provides. I'm also interested in connecting with readers that I've met here on Booktube in that, um, in that forum. So um, do plan on using Goodreads a little bit more in 2018 so that will be something new for me and hopefully we'll be talking to some of you over there as well. Um, I think that's it for sort of my updates that I wanted to give for the channel and now I would like to tell you what I'm currently reading. So the first thing that I'm currently reading that I'm almost done with and this is because of two uh, booktubers recommendations and this is The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wallenbin I think is how you say his name and the subtitle is What They Feel, How They Communicate, Discoveries from a Secret World. Um, this book was rec recommended to me both by Doris over at All the Books and by um, Tree Hugger Spiderling, and I will link both of their channels down below. Um, after I read Lab Girl, uh, this book was one that they both recommended to me uh, as something I might be interested in, and it has been a delight to read. It's really an interesting book. Um, the author writes with a lot of love uh, for trees. He has been a forester. Um, his Whole adult life and this book is based on his experiences with trees, with growing trees, with trying to keep trees healthy and with some of the science that has been discovered in more recent times about how trees interact with one another. Um, I have found this to be a, a fascinating book and a really nice pairing with Lab Girl. So I'm almost done with that one. I think I only have like 20 pages uh, left to go with that. 
So that is good. And then I have also picked up 1491 by Charles C. Mann. This is New Re Revelations of the Americas Before Columbus. This is a book that was lent to me by a work friend after we had gotten into a discussion of, the, of a book that I read recently called Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond. Um, we talked about that book at lunch one day at work and he said to me, you know, you really should read 1491 if you're interested in, you know, the cultures in the Americas uh, at the time of Columbus's discovery, Columbus's discovery with quotation marks. Um, because there's a lot that has been discovered and learned um, in the last 20 years or so that is new and um, I think you'd find it interesting. So. He lent me this book and its sequel, which I forget, I think is 1492. Um, so I have started this one. I'm just a little ways in, not very far at all. Um, but the writing style is very engaging. Um, it is not at all dry so far, which is great with a, a thick, you know, uh, history book like this. So I am very much interested in this and I'm going to continue on with this. Uh, it's going to be my nonfiction read for a while. And then I'm also currently listening to Carrie by Stephen King on audiobook. I haven't had a lot of time to listen to an audiobook over my Christmas holiday since I, I mostly listen to my audiobooks when I'm commuting and of course don't have that time. And I have a lot of podcasts that I subscribe to. So when I am doing housework or something that I can um, have my earbuds in and be listening to something, a lot of times I'm just listening to my my podcast. So I haven't had time to be listening to my audiobook recently, um, but of course that will all change when I head back to work next week and I, I think I'm about halfway through that audiobook so I should wrap that up pretty quickly in the beginning of next week. But it's been fun to revisit. It's a reread for me. I read Carrie back in high school. I think it was the first Stephen King book I ever read or close to it. Um, but it's really been fun to revisit uh, and enjoyable on audiobook. It's read by Sissy Spacek, so that's that's pretty fun. Um, so that's what I'm currently reading. Um, I don't have a, a fiction book on the go. I probably will be picking one up here either tonight or tomorrow. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna throw into the mix there, um, but it'll be something probably in the next day or so. And that's where I'm at, and I hope that you have all been reading something really wonderful over the Christmas holidays and I will talk to you later.